This is the second part of my basic physics 101 tutorial in Unity. And today we will talk about angular forces. So here you can already see a widget body and it has an info script assigned to it. And the angular speed is 7. So what did I do? So I have a fixed update in my info script that's just applying a talk with a vector forward. So you might ask, why is the angular speed 7? Why is the angular drag at 0 0.05? So this is very arbitrary. It was set by Unity. It's the default value. I can set it to 0. Hmm. It's, it's still strange because uh, in the last tutorial about um, velocity physics, I explained to you that if you add a force and you have no drag, the force uh, continues to grow until it reaches infinity. But it seems to be different now. It stops at 7. And this is really because um, there's a default value and a property called max angular velocity. And you, as you can see here, it's very small, but uh, it says default 7. So Unity set it to default 7. You can't go faster, or it seems like Unity don't want you to uh, make it faster, so let's set it to uh, float max value, which is really the highest value that you could go for. And let's see what will happen now. Now this is what we wanted. The angular speed continues to grow. But now you have some strange effect. It seems to be slower now sometimes. I don't know if you can see it. Um, if my screen recording software catch it, catches it right, but at a certain speed it doesn't seem to rotate anymore. Hmm. And the reason for that is very simple. So, imagine we are here. Now I stop it. Um, with this button I can go one frame forward. And one frame means it will rotate the cube a little bit and show us the frame. But what is a little bit? With the angular speed of 315, a little bit is just a complete rotation and it will have, have exactly the same position. So I can go forward and it's just a little bit. So it, it doesn't rotate from here to here. It rotates from here all the way to here. And this is why it looks like it does not really move or it moves backward. So... um from a game design perspective, if you have this issue, you should really have some kind of blurry effect if you go really fast. So what about terminal velocity? Let's add some drag to it. For example, a drag of one. And yes, it does apply here. So the same rule uh, we have for drag counts for angular drag as well. We set angular drag to a certain value and we constantly apply force, but the speed will stop at any value. So the next question is, what's the unit of angular speed? And the answer is, it's radians per second. Let's change the code a little bit. Let's change the angular velocity directly, something that you shouldn't normally do. We set it to zero. Um, math pi times 2 and 0. And now we just divide the angular speed by math point times 2. Now the angular speed says uh, nearly 1. So this is maybe because of the drag. Let's set the drag to 0. Yes, now it's 1. And if you have a look at one of these edges, you will notice that um, one turn really takes up one second. So if you want to have, now you have rounds per second, but if you want to have degrees per second, you can do the following. Instead of dividing the magnitude by mass pi times two, you can just use math f radians to degrees as a factor. Now, the angular velocity magnitude is in radians, and if you multiply it by this factor, which is basically 360 divided by 2 divided by 
pi, and then you get this factor. So there you go, 360, which means 360 degrees in one second. And I didn't specify it here. So the next question you might ask yourself is, why is angular velocity a vector 3 and rotation a quaternion? And what's the difference and how do it play together? And this can be quite complex, uh, complex and confusing, but it's actually simple. Yeah. So why did they choose vector 3 instead of a quaternion? I don't know. Maybe it's easier in the physics engine to compute. Um, but can we somehow change uh, angular velocity and the rotation in one of each other? For example, let's create a quaternion. So our quaternion is an angle axis. We want to rotate 90 degrees um, around the up vector. Or maybe that we, get, we really can see it uh, 45 degrees. And we say the rotation equals now the quaternion. So there we have it. 45 degrees around the up vector. You can already see it here. 45. Everything is okay. So now I have this rotation and I want to um, apply it as uh, angular velocity. To do that, we can do the following. So we have to some kind take this Q and make it uh, angular velocity or a uh, vector 3. So you might say, oh yeah, I know it. It's it's the Euler angles, right? It's that simple. Mm. Not quite. What you can do is um, you have a method called to angle axis and you get out angle and out an axis. Okay, now you might think, wait, what, what are we doing? We will just get back the 45 and the up vector here because this is how we created the quaternion. And that's completely right. That's that's how you can extract these two values back into your code. Um, so how to apply it now to our uh, angular velocity? Um, we can set the axis. And that's quite right already. Um, but the angular velocity is always specifying the axis. So if you want to have the rotation axis of the angular velocity, you just say angular velocity normalized. This is the axis. And if you want to have the speed, you say angular velocity uh, magnitude, because the magnitude of the vector specifies the speed and the normalized vector specifies the, ang uh, the axis. So what we will do is just say axis times angle. The angle, what, what's, what's the unit of the angle? It's 45, 45 degrees. But angular velocity deals with radians. So let's change this. Math f degrees, because here we have degrees, to radians. Now our body should rotate by 45 degrees every second. And there you go. It takes four seconds really for a complete rotation. So just in a short way, I zoomed in so that you really can see it. If you want to create a quaternion with this method angle axis, you specify the angle 45 degrees and say rotate it around the up vector. If you want to construct an angular velocity, you can use the same things. So vector up, like here, 45 degrees here, and then you multiply it. You could also say, okay, uh, math f pi divided by two, because these, this is a quarter rotation specified in radians. And because I'm so generously, I have put you a link down in the description for a physics helper. The physics helper I already used in the last tutorial. And yes, I will copy it. And it has a method called quaternion to angular velocity. You get a 
you put in a rotation, get out a vector sweep or angular velocity to cotanian. You put in an angular velocity and you will get a rotanian. And this, this uh, always means that the quotanian is a rotation in one second. So the one second is always a constant here. Subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials.